There it is. Yes. Wow, look at that big old fish. That's what the Magnum metalheads can do. That is a fly that is made for power trolling. All right, Wes Ward on the rod, and that lure was down about 20 feet deep. He's pulling one of our Magnum metal heads, and uh, from the way that fish is staying down, it looks like it's going to be a good one. We've been doing exceptionally well power trolling the Magnum metal heads, aside of some other offerings out here at Collins Lake, particularly late in the day when we get the chop. That fish is doing a lot of head shaking. Oh, that's a nice trout. Look at that fish. Look at that. Wow, wow, that's a hefty fish. That's awesome. He's playing hard to get. Wes is playing him perfectly. You don't want to horse him. The forward momentum does nothing but help you. Helps keep that hook in their mouth. And uh, that fish is just wearing himself down, but what a beautiful fish. There it is. Yes! Wow, look at that big old fish. That's what the Magnum metalheads can do. That is a fly that is made for power trolling. You control it fast, you control it aggressive, and we're hooked up on the other rod. It's a double. Oh my. I believe that's on the worm. We were just we were just joking. We said we're gonna get a double here in a minute, and uh, sure enough we did. Looks like we're taking that one, that one back to camp for dinner, baby. And we'll see what we got on this rod here. That one's doing some massive head shake in there. I think it's safe to say we got them pretty, pretty dialed here. And uh, we've, been, we've been experimenting with some different techniques. Going well over two miles an hour right now trolling worms and uh, metal heads. Flies, worms, those are two offerings that you're never supposed to troll, you know, much above one and a half miles an hour. And uh, we find that the faster we troll them, the more fish we catch. So kind of breaking the trout fishing rules out here and it is working for us. Ooh, look at those head shakes. Oh my. Wow. <laughs> oh man, he is nice. Gosh darn it. Wow, look at that fish. That is a powerful fish right there. Ooh. Oh my, oh my gosh. God. There, there it is. is. Woo! All right. <laughs> All right. I'm going to have Wes uh, bop those trout and hold them both up. And then we're going to talk a little bit about what he was doing. Wow, look at those two big old trout. We're going to talk about the technique we're using to get these fish in just a second, but man, those are two big old trout, both three plus pounds. Awesome, Wes. Very cool. Hey guys, Cal here. You just saw Wes Ward land a pair of exceptional rainbow trout. Um, we catch a lot of big trout out here at Collins Lake, but the real story is how fast he was trolling when he hooked those fish. The first fish hit a, a magnum metal head just like this two and a half miles an hour. Um, the second fish, we were still going two and a half miles an hour. That fish grabbed a worm. It was virtually a double hookup. Wes had just landed the first fish when the second fish hit. Um, that speed range, two and a half miles an hour, that is way above what conventional wisdom says you should be trolling worms at or flies at. Most guys, most trout guys, you know, they've, they've been told by other trout guys that you should be trolling those kinds of baits slowly, typically between one and one and a half miles an hour. As a trout angler, you need to open up your mind. You need to be willing to test those rules, those old wives' tales, that conventional wisdom. A lot of times it's correct. We troll worms slowly, but we're not afraid to goose up the speed with our worms to two and a half, 2.7 miles an hour. As long as that worm is rolling on the hook, if you're getting a good roll, you could troll much faster than a mile and a half an hour. And the same goes for flies. We've caught trout out here on flies going up to four miles an hour. In fact, we developed this fly, the Magnum Metalhead, for power trolling. We wanted a fly that we could troll alongside of a Rapala or a Speed Spoon, stuff like that. We wanted to troll flies at, you know, 2.7, three miles an hour, three and a half miles an hour. And what we found, the faster we pull flies, the more fish we catch. 
Flies just aren't a slow presentation. Worms just aren't a, a slow presentation. You can power troll with both baits when the situation's right. We got chop out here. The fish are looking to feed. They're feeling aggressive. In those situations, you control those worms and you control those flies a lot faster than conventional wisdom dictates and the results speak for themselves. When you're out trout fishing, don't be afraid to test those rules. Experiment, experiment, experiment. Experiment with different lures, different speeds, and that's gonna help you put more and bigger fish in the boat consistently, day in, day out, all year long. Experimentation is the key to the, you know, the, the pinnacle level of success. If you're looking for gear, you know where to go. Go on over to fishhuntshoot.com. Pick up a set of metal heads for yourself, or magnum metal heads in this case, for yourself, and you're gonna see just what they can do out on the water when it is time to power troll a fly. I'm signing off for now. We wanna get back to fishing. We wanna land another big pair of big giant rainbow trout like that. I'm Kel Kellogg, you stay safe, and please hit that subscribe button, and you'll always know when we are on here talking trout fishing. I'm a little tongue-tied right now. I'm all fired up about those big rainbows. I wanna land some myself. Anyway, I'm signing off. You have a great day, and I'll catch you next time right here on YouTube. Break those rules, experiment, catch more and bigger fish. All right, guys, catch you later.